Your soul killed. We'll be able to pitch next year, but both obviously 21st on the year three run homer Mets take a five three lead top of the six five four Mets two outs bases are loaded. Gilkey at the plate again. Scott service would clear him in trouble. Gilkey runners go in the ground ball to grounds it to Jeff Branson for the easy play service gets out of the jam since he is within one. Bottom of the sixth, tied at five, go-ahead run, Willie Green at third, Lenny Harris playing with a broken finger, gets the base knock, Green comes home, Reds take a 6-5 lead, they would tack on one more and win it by the final 7-5. Harris, who doesn't start, Pirates fills, that was Chuck Tanner, former Pirates skipper, Jim Eisenreich, the liner, Jay Bell, no, Greg Jeffrey scores, Phillies take a 1-0 lead in the first. Bottom of the third, Philly up 2-0, run at first, Jermaine Allensworth up the middle, Kevin Stocker to Steve Perez. Gets Steve Perez. Mickey Morandini gets his man. The gas portion of the program. Terry Mulholland's pitch. Gasped by Jeff King, but look at Jim Eisenreich. Jim Eisenreich in the Phillies on ESPN Sunday night. You can see more of Jim doing that. Great grab. Mulholland pitches the complete game. Phillies' second win in their last 15 games. The final. Oh, two to one. Mulholland tossing the purpose in this. Remember this game four speaking of Canseco it was deep and it was not playable and it was nearly seven years ago. 484 foot blast longest in Sky Dome history until this season occurred. McGuire on Thursday off Huck Fleener. Fleener this 488 feet but wait there's more. Saturday Joe Carter steps up. High in the air and way back in left field. Deck home run for Joe Carter. Take that, Mark McGuire. Denied a goal glove. Uh, but there was Fernandez premature jocularity six. there. Let's see if this one lasts till the end of the week. Canseco 44, McGuire 48, and the survey says Joe Carter 483 feet, five shy of the record. Still, Carter's home run, the third all time. We stay in Baltimore. Wells facing Albert Bell. 4-2 Indians, top of the third, a man on for Albert, and he flies softly and says, Get, keep the camera out there, and the cameraman wisely says, I've got bills to pay. Orioles in front. Bottom of the six, 5-2 Orioles, Oral Hershiser struggling, Alan Embry warming up, Brady Anderson gets plunked, the base is loaded, Serhoff scores 6-2 O's, Embry still waiting, and did they bring in the lefty to face the lefty? Gone. Nope, Rafi takes Oral deep, a grand slam. 27th home run this year. Palmero's third career Grand Slam. O's go on to win it by the final of 14 to 2. The O's snapped up. With a 3 1 Cubs trailing in the fourth inning. This one's in the gap. Or oh, Ellis Burks makes a sliding catch that fools us and the cameraman. But Burks hurt his knee and would have to leave. And he's day to day. We're all day to day. Honors Galarraga. Oh, it's deep. And I don't think it's in frame anymore. Nor in the ballpark. He missed by no more than maybe 10 feet of knocking it literally out of the stadium. Here's the replay. And Galarraga knew it was gone. Andres, real men don't taunt. Bottom eighth, Rockies lead 8 4. Galarraga again off Turk Wendell. Two run homer, two run shot, five RBI on the night. Between them, 907 feet, 100 of which he was taunting. Chicago's four game of the night. Billy Ashley batting 136 against Billy Wagner. But Billy Ashley does have a power bat on occasion. It's deep, and I don't think it's playable. That's right, a three run homer to tie it in the ninth. Top of the 11th, Tom Prince at second, Eric Karras at the plate. Grounder up the middle. Prince hustles towards third, and they're not going to get, get, get him. He's safe. Lead run. Dodgers go up 6 5 and win by that score. The Dodgers thus defeating. And Daryl Strawberry says, Who's old? Oh, well, Tim Belcher thought he had strike three. He's had some problems like that. How many times you've seen it? After Tim McClellan says it's a ball, Strawberry, the base knock, Bernie Williams scores, Yankees score four in, four in the third to take a 4-3 lead. Mariano Rivera gets Mike McFarlane in the seventh with two outs with the bases loaded. Same score, top of the eighth, Tom Goodwin gets picked off Rivera, who could be the MVP of this team. Rivera gave up one hit and two scoreless innings of work. John Wetland in, looking for his 36 save. Bip Roberts, base knock, brings in Johnny Damon, 5-4 Yankees. Next batter, it's McFarlane again. Two balls and two strikes to McFarlane. And Wetland gets the win. The Yankees win 5-4. Wetland, 36th save. Fastest ever to 36 saves. Just I'll be all right. Alex, he'll be all right, too. 
off Greg Gore deep and I don't think it's playable homer number 22 he's got more homers than years six to two Mariners and Griffey of course says uh, I'm the punk kid around here it's deep and I think it's playable I'm stunned to see home runs of plenty in the old kingdom 30 for he seven to two Mariners bottom third now eight to four games it's Rodriguez's turn he rips the RBI single to left center he's hit safely in 11 of 12 but Griff says anything you can do I can do better off the end of the bat with a great deal of loft which suggests the balls are juiced free run homer the other way passes Alvin Davis of Riverside California for career Mariner RBI leadership with 669 Rodriguez says that was that was pretty good right there Griffey three for four four RBI two home Sox matinee on the south side Daryl Hamilton facing Kevin Tappany for those of you who don't like home runs it's a home run two run ding dong four to three White Sox shall I mention here that the White Sox got Pat Borders from the Angels for a pitcher Robert Ellis Roberto Hernandez was the pitcher Yvonne Rodriguez was pinch hitting didn't start knocks home Buford to tie it at four bottom of the eighth still tied at four Ozzie Guillen Rene Gonzalez gets Guillen at first top ten tied at four Lee Stevens with Kurt Stillwell on first base now this wasn't perfectly played in the outfield by Tartable but it really wasn't his fault Lee Stevens is going to motor in with a triple that brings in the lead run and gives the Rangers a 5-4 margin to win 6-4 <sighs> there's a reason we're doing that joke here in the first 191 games of his big league career Lee Stevens second big league game it's Billy McMillan and not Billy McMarlin the single off Tewksbury in the bottom of the first Conine scores Devon White scores 4-0 Florida and the gates have just opened whether you know it or not 4-1 Florida in the second Gary Sheffield Liner, Ricky Henderson, Kilby yeah. Olvera scores 5-1 to one, Florida. The Padres, in fact, trail 7-1 to one in the third. But with two men on, Steve Finley takes John Burgett over the woods and far, far away. Three-run ding-dong, 19 on the year for Finley. Mr. Power, San Diego trails 7-4. Down 8-4 in the sixth, Chris Gomez off Burkett into left. Reed scores, Scott Livingstone scores, San Diego trailing 8-6, to six, trailing 8-7 to seven in the sixth. Wally Joyner with the bases loaded, and he finds a space intervening in the outfield, the interstitial space. Everybody scores. All the Padres score. Everybody scores. 10-8 Padres, 6 in the sixth. Jeff Conine now up with the bases loaded, 10 to 7, 10 to 8 rather, Skies one to center, Finley can't do anything with it, Vera scores, 10-9, Florida would tie it, but it's not over yet, John Flaherty. Left field, pretty well hit, way back, way back, that ball is a grand slam home run for John Flaherty. Oh, <laughs> doctor! You can't stop John Flaherty. You can. Langford walked in his first three times to the plate. Here in the bottom of the first, steals second. Bottom of the third, Langford on at first, steals second again. Seam warning. Bottom of the fourth, Langford on first. He's going to steal second. He'll move to third, following the poor throw by Darren Fletcher. After each steal, he would be driven in. Ron Gant brings him in in the first with a home run. Gant's 18th on the year. Cards up 2 0. How did Langford get home in the bottom of the third? Score tied at two. Brian Jordan, base knock, brings in Langford. Cards go up 3 2. How did Langford get home in the fourth? Ron Gant. Five to two, Langford, three walks, three steals, three runs scored. And the Cardinals win it by the final of 6 to 3. Bennis, Andy, gone. Two run homer. Williams, 22nd on the year, 2 0 Giants. The Giants built a 7-1 lead, but Dusty Baker is concerned in the top of the six because the bases are loaded and Ryan Klesko, who hit a grand slam earlier this year, has hit a grand slam here. This one off Mark Gardner. 7-5 Giants, Klesko's 28th home run. Top nine, still 7-5. Javi Lopez aboard, Rod Beck closes it out, and he does it with his bare hand. Giants win 7-5, Beck's 20th save, Klesko's third career grand slam. Break. Twins flashing leather. Oh, no, it's rich Corinthian leather. Mark de Cordova robs Greenwell. Bottom of the seventh. Twins down 5-3-2 on Paul Molitor. Show us where that hefty bag is. Oh, we have some new baggage up there at the top. New some white, nice white sheets there. Molitor, second triple of the game. He's like, he's an old guy. He's like 206. We're tied at five. Top nine, still tied. Mike Stanley, the grounder to short. Look what happens. You talk about a glove with a hole in it. Right through the hole in his glove. Stahoviak at first base. A new glove, please. It would be costly. Five batters later, two outs instead of three. Arquamides Pozo. Triples over Scott Stahoviak with the bases loaded. 
Everybody scores. Pozo, the guy that got from Jeff Manto or for Jeff Manto from Seattle the other day, leads the Anaheim Stadium. J.T. Snow's got the bases loaded, but he's only a 120 lifetime hitter against McDonald. We'll change that on the scorecard. It's deep, and I don't think it's playable. Third career grand slam for Jack Snow's kid, 13th homer of the year, Fort of the Angels. Chuck Finley with some help. Gary D. Sarcina, full extension. They almost get a double play. And we also want to thank the Umps for wearing their pizza delivery uniforms on Saturday. Top of the night, seven nothing Angels, two out. Finley against Jose Valentin. Wisconsin, good night. Nine strikeouts for Finley. His 12th career shutout, third complete.